and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. You know, I got a request to the government. Maybe you can learn something from Chick-fil-A. Now, I know we have had some issues with Chick-fil-A over the last three or four years, trying to be politically correct. But notice when you go to Chick-fil-A, how do uh, what what does the the person trying to take your order? What do they say? First of all, now they got it where they come outside, so the line, even though it's crowded, the line still goes faster. They're outside, and they're asking when you drive up, welcome to Chick-fil-A, may I take you? Or how can I help you? It's a pleasure to serve you. Did you get that? See, the job of the government is supposed to be your servant. See, first of all, you got to learn how to be a servant. When you go to Chick-fil-A, they, they train them how to have good attitudes. Because their job is to take care of the customer. Hey, hello, Republican Democrats. We're the customer. In your job, you should start saying, welcome to America. How may I serve you? We're your servants. We the people, you serve us. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things that has made Chick-fil-A popular. Number one, the service is usually a whole lot better. Head and shoulders above the other fast food chains. And if you don't know this or not, Chick-fil-A now is the uh, the number three franchise in America. Only Starbucks and McDonald's is ahead of them. So they're second when it comes to food. They're the, the number one chicken franchise. It's not even close. And McDonald's have a whole lot more stores than them, but they're still moving up their profitability. Their service is better. Their food is better. And you notice what they do. They don't try to get complicated on the menu. What do they specialize in? Chicken. See, some of these other fast food chains, they got too many stuff, too much stuff on the freaking menu. Just way too much stuff on the menu. You're not even good at the stuff that you're supposed to specialize in at McDonald's. Give us real meat. It's not real meat at McDonald's. <clears throat> One thing you get first is good service, great attitudes, realizing that the customers is your number one priority. Ooh, they can learn a lot from Chick-fil-A. Another thing you got to recognize is they got good quality chicken. See, one of the downfalls of Kentucky Fried Chicken, because you know the Kentucky Fried Chicken used to be the number one chicken franchise, right? Now, I forgot when the uh, Colonel Sanders, uh, when they took over and he, and he sold out and some other people took it over, it was really downhill from there. And they tried to sue him because even Colonel Sanders said that the, the, the chicken was not the same it was like trash. And they tried to sue him to say he's slandering them. Well, if anybody ought to know if the chicken is good, it should be the founder. See, the one thing Chick-fil-A has kept up, kept doing is they kept up with the, what the founder did. Good quality chicken. Great service. Uh, Well-groomed people. They don't allow you to have long fingernails working at Chick-fil-A. You'll never see nobody in there with them long fingernails at Chick-fil-A. No offense, but... It's, it's the, 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 the stuff can get up under your fingernail, so they don't allow that. You got to have your fingernails cut at Chick-fil-A. You got to be well-groomed. You got to be professional. You got to be nice and courtesy to the customers because after you get it and you said thank you, they said, my pleasure to serve you. I like that. My pleasure to serve you. These politicians can learn a lot from Chick-fil-A. I mean, they got it. They got what it takes. Quality. A chicken, the chicken is quality. See, what happens in Kentucky is that the chicken is not the same. If you ever eat Kentucky chicken, it's got that aftertaste or whatever because it's the speed growing in chickens is trash. Most of these other places doing it now. The minute Chick fil A does that, they're going to be downhill because they still have quality chicken. <clears throat> Even though all of these quote organizations try to protest against them, they still have every year they have grown. One of the only franchises who's done this. Because they operate with certain standards. Your government has no standards. They're in business at Chick-fil-A to make a profit. They're in, in business to serve the customer. The only way they say we can make a profit is to serve the customer. Your government does not worry about serving the people because they're getting rich and they're going on the back end stealing money from us, getting money to their family. They can just reprint some more money. When they screw up something. See, they make a mistake. They blame it on everybody else. When they have a problem, they blame it on everybody else. You rarely get a wrong order from Chick-fil-A. 
What does your politician tell you after every election? You tell them what you want. They ain't know what you want. Because <clears throat> they don't have the Chick-fil-A mentality. And guess what? Chick-fil-A probably would be number one above McDonald's if they open on Sundays. They don't even open on Sundays. Just think about that. Maybe they should never change that. Because the original owner <clears throat> believed people should worship on Sundays, so they never open on Sundays. Now, isn't that something? Giving the people what they want. Honoring God. Giving good quality pro uh, product. Being professional and handling, handling your customers with professionalism and courtesy because you're appreciative that they're coming to frequent your business. Isn't that a novel idea? Don't you just wish the politicians can be like Chick-fil-A. They're here to serve you. They're supposed to be representing you. They're supposed to be elected officials who's supposed to serve we the people. We the people don't want open borders. We the people don't want high inflation. We the people don't want to send no more money to Ukraine. We the people don't want people constantly getting money for being on welfare. Oh, we don't mind helping you up a little bit, but it's time out for that. We the people don't want to import a bunch of foreigners over here to take our jobs. We the people don't want our government spying on us, trying to dictate what our children are learning in school. So you can learn. You don't go to Chick-fil-A and they try to tell you what you should put on your particular chicken sandwich. See, they don't tell you what you put on your sandwich. You tell them what you want on there. Could there be anything? Would you like any sauces with that? What sauce? How many sauces would you like? See, that's the mindset that's made Chick-fil-A successful. A lot of other businesses start out like this, but they change. Because if I'm not mistaken, Pepsi now owns Kentucky, uh, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell, if I'm not mistaken. That's why you only get Pepsi products if you go to those places. They don't sell Coke products. <clears throat> Maybe that's downhill for you, too. <laughs> Just saying. But... If you run your business and you don't appreciate the customers and give the customers what they're asking for, they want quality food, they want good service, they don't mind even waiting if it's going to be some good quality food, but we don't want people with an attitude and like they're upset because we showed up. And you got a lot of these places, and you better not want some kind of like a, 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 a frosty or a malt shake if it's like after six or seven, because they're going to pretend like the machine is broke because they don't want to clean it again. So you ever get that? <laughs> You better not never want like a shake at like seven at night. No matter which one, you can go to Sunny, uh, McDonald's, Jack in the Box. Almost all of them pretend as if their their uh, shake machine is broke after seven. I don't drink a lot of shake, but my I got a son who sometimes he likes to get him a shake. And if you go after seven, usually they just pretend like the sh the, the machine is broke, and you can't say anything because they ain't gonna trash your food. You know, if you say anything about that. But wouldn't it be nice? If your politicians treated you like the customers are treated at Chick-fil-A, they're excited. They all seem like they're such a, in a good mood. I, the first time I went to Chick-fil-A, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But I noticed how nice. I was saying, like, man, it was also awfully nice to me. It's the most friendly people I've ever seen. And I didn't realize that they all are like this because they train them to be like this. We need to retrain our politicians on how to have the... Chick-fil-A customer service. We want Chick-fil-A customer service. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. May I help you? Uh, glad you elected me as congressman, senator. May I help you? What can I do for you, the people? We want the border closed. We want these uh, this perversion to stop being taught to the kids at school. We want you to stop spending our money, giving it away, making your family rich. Is it so hard and difficult to understand? We want Chick-fil-A service. That's what we want. We want a quality product. You're giving us trash, saying we're working for you. That ain't what we asked for. No, that's not what we asked for. Nobody's asking for high inflation. Nobody's asking for more crime. Nobody's asking for open borders. Not the regular people or not. But you're ignoring it because you don't have the Chick-fil-A Chick uh, mentality. I heard that the capital A at the end means quality or something like that. A quality. <laughs> But we need to we need to retrain or re-educate those uh, politicians because they don't treat us as if they're working at Chick Fil A. We should just make it where they have to work at Chick Fil A for a week, a politicians to see 
what is service really entails. Service meaning giving the people what they ask for. You don't go to Chick-fil-A and they're trying to convince you to get something else on the menu. They give you what you ask for. Your politicians can learn a lot from Chick-fil-A, but they never will.